How's it going everyone? Oculus VR here. Hope you're having a great day and welcome back to VR news. Not a lot of news this past few days except for the huge Oculus Quest 2 leak, but we do have a little bit. We have a new picture of the Oculus Quest 2 and some supposed sad news about the Oculus Quest. Some new games and a brand new Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge news slash mini trailer. I don't really know what to call it. We also have some new Oculus Quest APK file leaks that seem pretty sick. If you have a new story that I missed in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. Alright, let's get into it with some new VR games that have come out earlier this week and will come out this week. Okay, so another VR game that came out, or it's not really a game, it's more of like an application, but it came out last week. It is called Immersed. It is like a virtual desktop plus. You can have meetings with others, connect your PC, and so much more. Please be sure to check it out, and oh yeah, it's free. So yeah, please be sure to check this one out. It looks really cool. And then we have In Death Unchained. This game has been out for a long time, but now just got a quest port and it looks pretty fun. And it's around $30. And this Thursday we have Onward VR. This game has been out for a long time too, but is now getting a quest port. It's perfect for esports, so I'm really excited for it to get an Oculus Quest port. And it'll be around $30. And we actually have another picture of the supposed Oculus Quest 2. Let's take a look. Okay, so here it is. It does seem to have an IPD slider. If you look closely, you can see a little 2 in the middle. I don't know what this means. Maybe it can mean Oculus Quest 2, but some people think it is an IPD slider, which I don't really like the idea of because you can't adjust it mid-game. I feel like that would be a huge pain. Let me know what you think. Okay, now we have a rumor that I heard from some friends, but it is a rumor that I have to address. But Walking Cat has said that the Oculus Quest will be discontinued after the Oculus Quest 2. But that makes no sense to me. I feel like the headset has to be a light because they just took off the go from the market. So we really need a cheap VR option. Let me know what you think. I really hope they don't discontinue the quest. They, we really need a cheap VR option at this moment. So we have some brand new leaks of some APK files for the quest. Most are very small, but we do have one that seems to be somewhat of a guardian couch. Here it is. It's kind of a futuristic couch like with that gray and blue line all around the side. This would be absolutely sick if the quest could make an outline of your room and modify it into the virtual world. This way you could watch Netflix or YouTube or whatever you want to do on the comfort of your couch while seeing this huge screen. But this also might be an asset of a new virtual environment. Let me know what you think. I can't really tell what this is. Right, for our big news story, we have kind of a story trailer, mini trailer, I don't really know what to call it, for the brand new VR game Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. We have been told that the story of this game will expand off the story told from the Disney theme parks, taking place in the same planet, I think it's called Batu, Batu, I don't really know. We got to see two new characters, and they also hinted at seeing some old characters and i don't really know what they mean by that and what characters we're going to be seeing we got to see some brand new concept art of the home environment and just the regular environment we also got to see a actual like real picture from the game it seems to be some kind of home environment or ship i don't really know but still looks really sick we also have been told that this game is still coming out later this year which is a relief off my shoulders because I could have sworn that they were going to delay this game. But we do have some sad news. This game will be an Oculus Quest exclusive. And you might be saying to yourself, Oculus, why are you sad about this? I'm sad about this because I really wanted this huge VR game that would be on all platforms, PC VR, Oculus Quest, PSVR, etc, etc. I was really looking forward to some big hype on this game, but now it's only on the Oculus Quest, even though it can be run on other headsets if it can run on the Oculus Quest. So yeah, I was really looking forward to some big hype with this game. I still am very hype about this game, but be sure to let me know what you think about this game. Do you like it? Are you excited? Let me know. That's about it for today's VR news video. Some pretty th exciting things are ahead for us VR fans. Did you like the video? Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you really like my content, then you should subscribe because you don't know how much it means to me. So yeah, that's about it. Have an absolutely amazing day. And of course, take care.